I didn't shut the door. <laughs> Don't want to see reality now, do we? <laughs> You're fairly okay. You're a bit worried about the whole Clorota thing. Uh, I know how you feel. Um, you're supposed to start your new job on Monday, but not sure how that's going to be possible now. Have they not been in touch, I assume? 
Um, I share your exact uh, concern. Um, it is trying times. Trying times indeed. I have washed my hands so many times. I now have like crusty hands. <laughs> my hands are dried out. <laughs> it's not good. I am, I am genuinely petrified of the future. Um, uh, but hopefully um, we will come out of this unscathed. We shall see. I fear for everybody that's um, not going to have a great time. Hey, Duarte, how are you? We can actually see some reality, can't we? Charles, that's my chair. Here we go. Oh no, you can see reality at the top now. Oh no 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 no! Be gone, reality. This way. There we go. Excellent. Uh, you're sort of hired by a company that's hired by a company that's doing work for another company. So a lot of talking back and forth. You should have news tomorrow. Okay, good. That's good to know. Uh, a lot of AA meetings and prayer groups. They link arms instead of holding hands because of Corona. That makes sense. Um... Uh, yes, uh, Duarte, I think the set, I mean, I, I am in the same camp, I believe. Uh, I'm waiting for an email to say that that's okay, but I bought home my PC, my work PC home today. So, um, I think I'm in exactly the same boat as you, um, from now on as bunkering in, so to speak. The only thing I have to worry about apart from working is shopping for food. And walking the dog. I can't get this camera angle right, can I? Why Why is that? Do I get some paint chips or something? Or am I wobbling around? I might be wobbling around. Is that... Is that the chair? What is that? Could be the lighting. Anybody else see that? Oh. <laughs> it's the microphone. <laughs> uh, most people at the new company have already been sent home to work, but since I'm just starting out, um, you really uh, it's not really an option for me. That makes sense. Um, it's a luxury that most people um, don't have. Uh which I just hope they'll see sense and send you home. Or at least, at least, at the very least, tell you what's going on. Perals, welcome, welcome. I love this game as well. It's fantastic. So what we're doing here is we are waiting for Solarius to uh, steal the keys to the monastery. So I'm hoping... That's going to be tomorrow. I think it's going to be tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm still not really 100% on who actually is uh, Pius. I think his name's Pius, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am, I'm, I'm literally so anxious about this whole uh, Corona thing. I... Oh, it's not good. Is that keys? Wait. What troubles you? Where's, have you got my keys? Do you have the keys yet? Do you have the keys yet? What? You think it's that easy? I need more time. Okay. Okay. You're frightened about uh, coronavirus. Yeah, I think everybody's in the same boat. Um, the UK just moved from uh, like what I imagine is like a um, like an amber to a to a new level of warning system. Um, 
I don't really understand it, but it's basically stay away from each other kind of strategy. I don't know how to find out which one of these people is pious. I think there's a book in in the the. Me be. I want to sleep. Okay. Uh, you need to go shopping before things run out. Be right back. No worries, do what? You take care, buddy. Uh, has he just got books? Hmm. I'm going to pickpocket him until I get, until I don't get anything. Until I get caught and he just gets up. <laughs> not good, not good. Uh, we're on stage two now, but anything, it's not really enough, you know, like, yeah, isolate. If you have a cough or a fever, I think, uh, I do think things should be more draconian. Yes, I agree. Uh, Peral, are you from the UK as well? You are indeed. Oh, well, that, that makes me a bit more um, at ease then. Um, stage two of delay or whatever. Um, I think my my place of work is taking this delay to be like everybody go home that can go home. Your main fear uh, about Corona is that your dad isn't very much the vulnerable group because he's in dialysis and needs to go to the hospital three times a week and stay alive. Is it? I am in the same sort of boat, not that bad as yourself, Per, but my father is 70 something years old um 70 something 75 maybe uh so the risk for him is obviously a lot higher i don't want and i go shopping with him like every weekend also it's my birthday at the end of the month so i'm doubly concerned that i will somehow contract the bloody thing and then go shopping with him infect him it's it, yeah it's it's terrible uh, as a type 1 diabetic i'm very much at risk from it no idea what uh, my work will be doing about it. Do you have to get um? Do you have to go to hospital a lot then? Uh, if you don't, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Obviously, it seems like m many people. We're all in a similar kind of boat. I mean, obviously, some people more so than others. But uh, you had a dry throat yesterday because you couldn't drink water, enough water, and everybody on the subway gave me a, vis a wide berth immediately. It was kind of funny. Slumbering confusion. I am. I'm equally very concerned uh, because I suffer from hay fever a lot. That's the wind, by the way, if you can hear that. I suffer from hay fever a lot. So I have had a very dry throat. Um, and the anxiousness of the whole bloody the whole bloody thing uh, has, has given me a whole new level of anxiety that I am getting heart palpitations. I am getting cra like stiffness in my lungs. Um, I, I am, I am, I, yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Um, yesterday I cycled to work and I wore a, a thing over my face and everybody looked at me terribly. <laughs> You're on an insulin pump. Uh, any illnesses will shoot your blood sugars through the roof. Well, best of vibes to you, my friend. I, I really hope nobody, I hope this just, you know, kind of goes away as soon as it can. So you, you, you have the pump at home then, so you don't need to go into the hospital, I assume. At least that's a that's a positive. Um, I think at the moment we all need to just make sure that we limit contact with people. Obviously not virtually, because we still need to stay sane. And please don't not watch. <laughs> wow. Okay. We're going to shut the window. I was making a hell of a racket. There's one thing about worrying about Corona. Like, the more you worry, the more you'll get warm with stress. And the more you get warm with stress, you'll think that you've got a fever. And the more you think you have a fever, the more you will worry. It It, it is quite uh, cyclical. No, 
Um, it's a cycle. The pump is connected 24 7. It's a tiny thing connected with a needle. I have to go to the hospital occasionally for seconds. Okay. There's a thing um, that also stresses me out is the panic buying. So, people buying up stuff and not leaving anything for people who actually need it. Um, I would like to think our society is, you know, above that, but it doesn't seem like we are. Okay, let's talk to Antonius. Oh, Gregor. You like the monk style chanting, uh, sounds nice. I've enjoyed the monk style chanting since Metal Gear Solid 1. If you remember the song at the end, um, it was almost like a Gregorian chant. It was, it was what kind of got me into it. Uh, do you know what the brother Cicatas get up to at night? In the night, I saw the brother Cicatas drinking and playing dice. And why aren't you spending your nights sleeping instead of creeping around spying on your brothers? I only wanted to... I know, brother, I know. But you need to understand that novices shouldn't be poking their noses into the affairs of elder brothers. Even if something inappropriate was going on. Even then... I haven't heard that one, Peralz. Who are you compared to like a Gregorian chant. Wait till you know what's what. And in the meantime, keep your head down and do what you're told. Life in a monastery is much like life outside in many ways. The monastery walls don't keep out human pride and hatred. Really? I thought monks were above that sort of human folly. They became monks, Gregor, but that didn't stop them being men. Be on your guard as much as you ever were outside. Lies, jealousy, vengeance. Mm. It can hurt you here as much as anywhere. Thanks for the advice. Although I don't know if I can follow it. That's up to you, brother. Did he tell us about his past? What troubles you? I'd like to ask you... Tell me something about... Work, prayer... Hmm. I'll be interested to hear what you think about the other novices. Uh, as soon as Denmark was shut down, the Prime Minister said, do not gather more than 100 people at one place and don't hoard stuff. Shops will work and get supplied as normally. 100 people immediately crammed together into the shops and tried to hoard as much stuff as possible. Yeah, they did that last week over here. Um, it was almost like a run on toilet paper and pasta and stuff. Um... So the local shops over here limited people to five items of n necessary items or whatever they call them. Um, it's disgusting. Like, I, 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 you can't get any bloody bog roll in your area full of no money. Yeah, I, yeah, I know how you feel. The thing is, and I was discussing this with my friends yesterday, um, panic buying, especially like necessary items. Like, how do you escape that? So, you hear on the news that everybody's panic buying and buying all the toilet paper. But you know you need toilet paper. So you know you need to go out and get toilet paper. So you immediately go out and get toilet paper to avoid not having any toilet paper. So in essence, you go to the shop and buy toilet paper. Therefore, adding to the problem. How do you escape that? Like, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, it's almost... Again, it's like a cycle. It... it like, you, you go out and get toilet paper even if you don't need it because you're panicked about not having it because everybody else is panicked. It, fear. I think fear is essentially the number one contagious thing. Um, and that's, that's a very dangerous thing to have. Uh, Siskin. What can you tell me about Siskin? that there's no man alive less suitable for the monastic life than him. <laughs> you don't know young Lord Capon. <laughs> I've heard things. Siskin must have been like him. Fighting, drinking, fornicating. But then he ended up in here. For example, last week, um, me and my father went shopping and we knew about the toilet paper run 
and the pasta and the baby wipes and all that stuff. So what did I go do? I went and bought toilet paper. I didn't buy a lot of it, but I bought what I could. It, like, I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. And I bought pasta as well. I'd, it's, it, it's it's the fear. It's the fear that's going to get you. And uh, fear is going to get you all sorts of problems. Stupidity and fear is even more contagious than corona. Yeah, exactly. Work sent you out to buy hand sanitizer and again, you can't even get it. I saw people fighting over it over the local Tesco over here. Um, tiny little, tiny, tiny little like bottles of hand sanitizer and then people are like oh like just get a bar of soap but they um they installed like hand sanitizer pumps at work um at great cost soap and water work better anyway yeah exactly it's um it's crazy out there but um the best thing we can do is hunker down if we can and try and not get scared. Uh, the one thing also, I was um, talking to my friends the other day that um, if we can, or if you can, make sure you're taking multivitamins, um, make sure your um, your immune system is kind of boosted as much as it can. Um, and my, my boss at work was also saying that um, uh, like paracetamol and ibuprofen, if you make sure you've got some of that. Um, but again, that's panic buying. Worst part is so many people get tired of waiting in extremely long queues. So they just get uh, left their groceries up in the aisles. The shops have to throw so much to 